gonna be talking about expressions. We're gonna be talking about how to make expressions, how to make them fun, how to make them fluid. So expressions are delicate. Every aspect of the face and body contribute to an overall emotion. When we are drawing our expressions, we wanna make sure that every single aspect of the body and the face are taken into account. The number one thing that I always say when it comes to expressions, don't <laughs> sacrifice a good expression for aesthetic. When we work with expressions, we wanna make sure that we are keeping our faces nice and fluid. A lot of the times, a lot of newer artists or artists who are a bit more hesitant to work with, you know, quote unquote, uglier. <laughs> Uglier expressions, you know, sadness, anger, two of the big ones. Oftentimes they reel them back to make the character still keep their aesthetic of looking good. This makes the expression extremely stiff. You see this a lot with newer anime artists. But yes, it tends to make the expression stiff, like really, really stiff. And what I mean by that is like, they don't want to furrow the eyebrows as much. They don't want to add wrinkle lines in the face. They don't want to add so on and so forth. Not adding those in kills an expression. It really does. So don't sacrifice a good expression for aesthetics. So we're going to be talking about how you move around the different portions of the face because as long as you know how to move around the face, you're golden. This is like the really, really basic stuff. If you're working with expressions, this is like the baseline, what you should be worrying about. So in my opinion, this portion of the face is 100% the most important part. It's your eyebrows. Eyebrows are one of the most expressive parts of the face. And it's also one of the most delicate. I keep throwing that word around delicate. When I say something that is delicate, it means that one little shift and it's gonna be wrong. If you have an expression, every little angle of that expression matters. Every little bit that you add into that expression matters. If you shift your eyebrows just slightly off, it's gonna be a completely different expression. I promise you. Eyebrows are probably one of the most difficult parts of the expression because you can angle them, you can change them, you can do whatever, but if it's angled slightly wrong, that expression is gonna change instantly. But eyebrows, you can like furrow, you can raise them, you can like have them at odds with each other, you can have one raise, so on and so forth. Eyebrows are very, very expressive. There's another reason why they're really expressive is because eyebrows kind of tend to move on their own. As I think that um, a lot of the times like people's eyebrows will raise slightly. It's a very instinctual thing that our bodies do. And that's why eyebrows are one of the most expressive portions of the body. You can have your eyes, you can keep your eyes kind of stiff, but you'll notice that people's eyebrows will twitch. Your eyes. So your eyes are also really delicate. When you're drawing your eyes, one thing that I actually see a lot of people mess up, which is something that you wouldn't think people mess up on, but it's very, very common, is line of sight. Sometimes your eyes just are not looking in the correct direction. So please double check that <laughs> um, when you are drawing your eyes in. You want to double check your line of sight, make sure that they're looking in the same direction or in the proper direction at the very least. Pupil size, sometimes just adding in a pupil or get, taking them away does a lot. Iris size, so your pupil is the black dot, your iris is the colored portion, right? Sometimes your iris is also just as small as the pupil. Sometimes the iris gets really big, so on and so forth. Um, again, mostly a cartoonist thing. Eyelids, you know, are they half-lidded? Are you squinting? Are your eyes wide open? Eyelids do a lot. Eyes themselves, tough to get right. And they are obviously best in combination with eyebrows. So usually if your eyebrows are doing an expression, your eyes should be matching it. The nose. Nose is a weird one. Nose is not as delicate, but helps enhance expressions greatly. Your nose will control facial wrinkles. So the bridge of nose, laugh lines. Nose also just as general expression with the nostrils. So noses are not as delicate compared to the eyebrows and eyes. You don't have muscles where you can like really move the nose back and forth. It's like whatever, it's kind of stuck there. But your nose is what helps or the area around your nose. And like, if you kind of scrunch your nose up, your nose will control different areas on your face that will assist in enhancing the face. The nose is something that a lot of people who don't really work with expressions a lot ignore because artists don't like drawing in laugh lines. Your laugh lines are these. Those are really important for expressions. Obviously don't draw them as long as this if your character is not that old, but you're gonna have a little bit of them for disgust, for maybe extreme happiness, for some sadness. You're gonna have a little bit of that in there. You're also gonna have some stuff on the bridge of the nose up here between the eyebrows where it's furrowed. Your nose will control those areas because if you don't have those laugh lines, it smooths out the face. And what that does is it stiffens up your expression. Your face is liquidy, touch your cheeks. They are very squishy. So we want to make sure that we keep in that squish of the face. So the nose is not as delicate, but it is really good for helping push your expressions. Then you have the mouth. So your mouth is considered your quote unquote basic source of expression. Your mouth, you know, when they say you're happy, the corners pop up. 
when you're sad, the corners of your mouth pop down, right? That kind of jazz. The mouth is like the easiest thing to read. That's why it's considered like the quote unquote most basic source of expression. It's somewhat delicate. It's not as delicate as eyebrows or eyes, I think. It is delicate still, especially if you're more delicate with your expressions. Like you want a really certain amount of pushing with your expression. If the corners of your mouth are drawn just slightly off, it's gonna change that expression, so on and so forth. The mouth has a wide range, right? You can do a lot with the mouth. You can make the mouth get really small. You can make the mouth get really big. You can change up how the mouth is placed on the face a little bit, depending on how much of a cartoonist you are. Don't be afraid to stretch and wrinkle. The exact same thing with the nose, but the mouth is a bit more crucial. So with the mouth, again, a lot of the times you'll see people like, oh, I'm gonna draw the mouth really wide open. And then they like, you know, they have the mouth really wide open, but there's no wrinkles on the side of the mouth. There's no effect to the nose. They didn't drop the jaw. That's another one. If your mouth is super open, the shape of your head is gonna change. If we are making the mouth really, really wide, we wanna make sure that we are dropping that jaw down, making the shape of the head different. Cause remember that our jaw is like on a hinge, it's at the back near our ears. You'll see this a lot with more restrained emotions. If you have like a character who was meant to be a bit cuter, you have their mouth open and it's like and the little nose there and you keep the mouth just kind of like that. That's cool, that's great, right? They're not really changing the shape of the head, not really doing much, it works. Like this is good if, like if they're just generally kind of yelling. If you want to push that, first of all, drop the jaw and make it nice and wide. Really put it at the edges of the mouth. You can even kind of extend how the jaw is drawn. Show the teeth. Teeth are really, really important. Back of the throat. Add some laugh lines there. Have the nose. Wrinkle it a bit here. If you'd like to support the channel in the creation of free arts education, become a member on Patreon. You're gonna have a little bit under the eyes really push those eyebrows have a little bit of wrinkle between them push it make it extreme add in lines add in wrinkles add in you know there's gonna be a lot that you need in an expression you know that this is good this is better right i don't say that because technically sometimes you want that restrained expression but if you're going for extreme anger this is okay this is better <laughs> it depends on what you're going for but do not be afraid to stretch and wrinkle them out don't be afraid to push it and pull it whatever the face is really, really important. Every single aspect of the face works together. This is like more restrained push. So don't be afraid to stretch and wrinkle. I know we want to keep our characters beautiful, but if we have somebody who's going crazy, going unhinged, we don't want them to be beautiful. <laughs> When you go kind of insane, you're not going to be pretty. If you're like sobbing, you're not going to be pretty, man. Like that's just not how it's going to work. So you want to kind of uglify that face a bit. I know it's tough. It's rough, right? I know we love our attractive characters and so do I, but I love making attractive characters cry. So don't be afraid to stretch and wrinkle. What we want to keep in mind is as a whole, all aspects of the face work together. One area will affect the others. So let's demonstrate that. We're going to do a pushed expression because pushed expressions are the ones that people tend to have the most issues with. I'm gonna work with this really basic face shape because there's a lot that I could do with different facial expressions, but it depends on how I'm working with them. So don't forget the wrinkles around the eyes. Furrow those eyebrows. Really point them. By the way, when you're drawing anger, if you have an eye, this is how nice and delicate the eyebrows are. This is anger, right? Kind of turned down. If you just kind of carefully lift the corner of this eyebrow up a little bit, this is a little bit more pained. So the more you turn up this corner, the more pained the expression looks, right? So if you have it turned up a little bit, that's pained. If you have it turned mostly down, that's just pure anger. That's how delicate they are. Confusion is also a very delicate expression. Again, everything when it comes to expressions is delicate. You gotta be really careful. Because right now we're going for something a bit angrier. Don't forget your teeth. Lots of people are afraid of teeth. Don't be afraid of teeth. Teeth are what really help expressions. Anger is considered an umbrella term. Every like expression underneath it depends on how you want to express it and like how you want to show it. And you're gonna have to use a lot of references. Yeah, the more specific you get with expressions, the harder it is gonna, it's gonna be to find a reference. So really what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to memorize how to move around each aspect of the face. And then you're gonna have to figure that out for yourself. <laughs> It's a lot of that. It's annoying and it's rough, but that's literally how it goes. You can even do this. I'm kind of breaking it down. Really stress out the neck a bit. So let's say we've got this expression, right? We've got something a little bit angry. We're going to play with it. So this expression, you know, eyebrows downturn, right? This person's shouting. They're doing a lot right now. They're kind of a whole bit angry. So you can change just one little thing. Let's change the eyebrows. That's always the thing that I like to change first. If I just kind of upturn them a little bit. Again, the anguish. Now this one kind of feels a little bit more like they're crying out for help, right? This one feels like they're cussing somebody out. This one looks like they're like, oh no, kind of deal. Just with a slight shift 
in the angle of the eyebrows. That tiny shift did so much. If you wanted them to look a little bit less intense, you could change the size of the pupils or the, the irises. You can make them a little bit bigger. So you can even change the size of the pupils. That changes the expression a lot too. If you kept them at that tiny shape, then it's a lot more intense, right? But just that tiny shift in the eyebrows changes a lot. Let's even did it again. Let's change another aspect of the face. Let's change the mouth. So if we kept everything else the same, shrunk down the jaw. We need that squash and stretch. If you really shrunk down the mouth, if we kept in, look at that difference. We take away that little line, add it back in. Those little lines do so much. This feels more like initial shock or just the kind of like, if I did this, <laughs> right? Just kind of feels like the initial thing. Let's change the eyebrows again. Let's do that something a little bit more drastic with the eyebrows here. <laughs> now this expression is more lighthearted. Now it's like, oh wait, don't bro. <laughs> That's a bad decision. This one's like, bro, you murdered my entire family. This one's like, bro, you just did an oopsie, right? <laughs> it's a little bit more lighthearted. This expression is now more goofy because the eyebrows have shifted a little bit. Let's change the expression here a little bit more drastically. Let's turn these eyebrows even further up. Have it so now there's a gap. Open the pupils up a little bit more. If you don't add in those little lines, look at this, hang on. Let's just do that real quick. Let's just remove all of the extra little wrinkles. Look at how that stiffens the expression. It really kind of removes a lot of the intensity, right? It's why those lines are so important because the face will not shift like this without these little lines. It changes a lot. Like if I got rid of the lines there, it would look really, really different. Which is why those little wrinkles on the face are so important because it can really change a lot. This is a little bit more drastic. Again, though, you want to drop the jaw. Don't keep it the same size. Add a pupil back in. That tends to change enough. And then we can draw the some tears. More relief. If I, if I kept the, I could keep the eye. The pupils really, really tiny here too. That would help as well. Keep it a little more intense. Still a bit more of an intense expression, but again, changing the curve of the eyebrows a little bit more. You can put a smiling mouth on this expression. Let's just do that. I'm just having fun at this point, but it's it's really just a demonstration of how to change the expression in like singular ways. It does enough. This expression is gonna go from like angry to like crazy, like snarling. And then you show a bit of the gums. It shows that the mouth is opening really crazy wide. If you kind of show bits of the teeth there, What's really cool is if you just have one side of the eye left up there. And then don't forget the laugh lines. So really what this shows is just like, you know, changing just like single sections of the face, even really subtle ways like these two are very, very subtle, but they're two like pretty well completely different expressions. They show off two different emotions completely. These two only have the mouth changed between them. These three are only the eyebrows changed. That's why it's like, I focus on the eyebrows for these three. This one is mouth and the eyebrows changed from the initial. There's a lot of like very subtle things you can do to expressions to make them completely different. And that's why you need to be able to push them change where the face wrinkles, change where things will shift and move. And like the best way to do that was observation. What you can do, you can have a little mirror on the side, really look at yourself and that tends to help. But yeah, very, very tiny bits of the face will change how it acts. Join a virtual class to learn live from our professional artists. Get creative assignments, individual guidance, and real-time feedback on your artwork. Start today and level up your practice. If you learn something new, like and share this with a fellow art nerd. If you love receiving quality and free arts education, subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, here's a couple other videos you can check out next.